Hi everyone, today we're going to see how we can make a project on DaVinci Resolve and say up correctly. So, first of all, when you create a project, that's very easy. When you open DaVinci Resolve, you just have to make new project and that's it. But something very important when you make a project is to set it up correctly. So, if we go to File, Project Settings, you can see Timeline Resolution and the Frame Rate. So both are important. This is the amount of pixels in the X and Y axis, so horizontal and vertically. And here we have the frame rate, so the amount of images per second that we have. Um, so if you set up, for example, let's take this case 60 frames per second, and we have a full HD timeline resolution. So we make save, change. What we have now is a 60 frames per second or 60 images per second timeline. So if we have like a clip like this one, and we click with the right click and clip attributes, we can see the frame rate, which is 23.9. What happens when we have a frame rate lower than the timeline, so the project um, frame rate? What happens is that you're going to find so the, the software is going to duplicate the frames in the clip. So you're going to find many duplicated frames. If you do the opposite, so if you have a 24 frame rate of as a project and you have a 60 frames per second clip you're going to lose frames so it's very very important to choose the right one now this clip is actually a almost 4k clip and if i try to add it up okay, like this we're going to see that it doesn't really change a lot. That's because DaVinci Resolve scale automatic, automatically the 4K video clip to the full HD resolution of the, uh, for the project. But if you do the opposite, you're going to lose quality. That's the same logic behind images. So be careful with that. But it's very important that when, when you have several clips with several frame rates and resolutions, you have to find a balance between them. Of course, if you, if most of your videos have a 30 uh, FPS, just two have 24 or 60 or whatever, of course, you're going to give priority to the 30 FPS uh, settings. Um, but otherwise, you have to find a balance. And of course, it depends on the kind of video and final product you're going to have. So thanks for watching and see you to the next tutorial. Bye.